Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila. Hi, she she. Hi, this is Sheila, and we're back for another recipe today, and here is Jin Jin with me, as always, thank goodness. As always. As always. <laughs> Just can't get rid of me, she can't. Uh -uh, no way, uh-uh. Well, we're here today to do a family recipe, and we are doing vermicelli rice pilaf and it's very easy to make that's what it's vermicelli we got to use the hands and everything especially with my italian family and uh, it's very simple to make it goes with pork and beef and chicken it's it's easy and doesn't take very long to make so let's get started okay what you're going to need uh is you're going to want to start with a cube of butter and you're going to melt the butter the whole the whole cube all the sticky stuff right there huh. in the pan cool and i'm going to turn that up a little bit we're going to melt that and once that gets melted, you're going to want to add in the vermicelli. Now, while that's melting, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. This is vermicelli. It comes in like a spaghetti-like form. And what you do, Sheila's gonna demonstrate here. You'll just, you'll just break them off like one thumb mount and just break it off. And you can just let somebody in your family or your kids, your kids or your, or your husband or your or, puppy or, or <laughs> break off pieces for you and get all that done and you're gonna want one cup of that all right so once that butter is somewhat melted and ready to go but you don't want it to burn you're gonna want to pour the vermicelli in the pan and we need about a cup of that and I'm gonna turn that up a little bit more and what you want to do is brown the vermicelli um, in the butter Okay, so you can see it's kind of turning a nice brown color, and that looks about done. So next you're gonna to wanna to get you some rice. So I got the Uncle Ben's long-grained rice, and you can, or your favorite brand, um, you can get it and pour it in a cup, and you'll just pour that right on top. And mix that up in, into the buttery brown. So stir it up a little bit. Right? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do that. Yes. Then we're going to want to add in chicken broth. And you will want to add probably most of this because that's going to absorb up into the rice. I'll leave a little bit, and you, you may need a little bit more. I'll check it here in a second, but we'll, we'll add most of that in and stir that up. And also, you're going to want to add in some chicken bouillon cubes, and that will add some additional flavor and salt to it. And those, you could get the, the crushed up kind or the cubes. So three of those will make it taste better? Three of those will make it taste better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah, for about three of them, because you don't want to, it, it, you don't want you know, those cubes are, are salty, so you don't want to add too much, but you don't want um, to overpower it. Right. Right. You're just gonna you're just gonna mix that up and then you're gonna cover it with a lid and we're gonna let that simmer a little bit and we'll be back. Okay, so I added the rest of the box of chicken broth and we've let that cook for about 15 minutes. And what we're gonna do is turn the heat off and let that sit for about five more minutes. So the total amount of cooking is actually about 20 minutes. I'll let you take that over there. Okay. And it is ready to go. It looks really good. So you can add a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, it Now, you want to taste test this because the, the bouillon cube actually had uh, a salty taste to it. Yeah. So you might want a little bit more salt, but you may not meet, need too much salt. Um, it's really your choice. Um, not everybody likes really, really salty food or can't have a lot of sodium. So... Um, but it looks like it's ready to go. Doesn't it look yeah, good? It looks really good. It smells good, too. All right, Shishi, I'll let, you, I'll let you give us a little taste. We're actually going to take this out and do a barbecue with this. <laughs> but we're going to we're gonna do a little taste test and, and see how this all came out before we... Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm good. Good, and it's hot. It's got really good flavor. Very good. Real good. So got the chicken, um, a lot of chicken flavor in. Yeah, a lot of chicken flavor. It's very flavorful. 
you know, not your typical boring rice. Um, and it's very easy to make. So next time you guys are having a, a meat dish and you want to dress it up with something yummy, just put a little bit of the vermicelli, vermicelli, no, wait a minute. Hey, vermicelli. the vermicelli rice peel off and you'll be the hit of, of the of dinner. It. Yes. Yes. So thanks again for watching and liking and sharing and subscribing. And don't forget to visit shotgunred.com and submit your recipe. Yes. And if we do use your recipe, you will be getting a DVD. A free DVD of the Shotgun Red Show Live. So, um, And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram. And all that good stuff. we're at Cooking with Shotgun Red there as well. And I know we have our comments disabled here, but you can always talk to us over there and uh, send us a private message. We love when people share their stories about their cooking and when they try our recipes and stuff. We really appreciate you guys following us. We had us. a lot of them other night that um, when I looked at it, they uh, sent their pictures of all the recipes that they had used. Yes. So I love when people will tag us in their in their recipes and say, hey, we're trying, you know, yes. green bean slop or whatever it was that we did. We really appreciate that. So thanks again. Uh, we'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Vermicelli. Yeah, okay. Use the hands. If you're gonna say, you gotta say Vermicelli. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Sheila. No. Hi. This is. Okay. Who are you? You finally know. I don't know you are. This is Sheila, and I'm Ginger, and we're gonna do another recipe. Okay. Family recipe of your family. Yes. And we're gonna do a family recipe. You just said that. How many times am I gonna say family recipe? Ah! Okay, pot roast. You could pot roast? <laughs> Did I say pot roast? I meant to say pork and it just came out pot roast. I don't know. <laughs> See, oh, we have an we have an audience today. It's distracting me. Okay. I'm gonna, so, take, I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, wait. We hope you enjoy this recipe and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.